Hi all! Welcome back to Atomic Literature. So today we are going to deal with an essay, Art as a Technique, which is from the paper Critical Studies 1 by Viktor Shlowski. This particular technique is used by Shlowski, should be unlimited, dynamic and volatile. In this sense, an artist can use a language in which he can use artist language where he can invent newer and newer techniques for bringing defamiliarization for a piece of art. Only a work of art can be uh, can be fully analyzed if it is defamiliarized. We couldn't. We have to do the work. Uh, we have to see it as a specific or an individual piece of work. This brings a new perspective to each work of art. Thus, Shlomovsky in his work inventions as to how to make a work of art more artistic by making it dynamic and volatile. Now we will move on to the theory of formalism. As we all know what is formalism, it is believed in the primary of four where Russian formalism was introduced in the year 1920s. Where three leading representations of Russian formalism were Roman Jacobson, Viktor Shlovsky and Boris Tomashevsky. They were represented as the Moscow linguistic circle. So these three people were represented or these people were considered as the Moscow linguistic circle. Russian formalism attacked historical, sociological, philosophical approaches to the literature. They proposed a scientific method of studying all the poetic languages. Here, the concept of formalism in the year 1920s was described as a child of revolutionary period part and parcel of its peculiar intellectual atmosphere. So initially, the term was used by derogatory sense which attacked Marxist. They excluded subject matter and social values as it is focused more on the formal patterns and technical devices. Formalism were forced to, to flee from Russia and thus their center of study flight to Slavoskia. So this is how formalism was shifted from Russia to Slavoskia. When Jacobson arrived, he started classifying artistic styles by their formal qualities by employing terms from figures of speech, such as metaphor, metonymy, etc. After Schiff being the focus on Nazi, they shifted to US and later we find their principles used by American critics. They are American critics like uh, René Wellick and Austin Warren. The essay, in this particular essay, is mainly divided into the concept of defamiliarization how poetic language is different from ordinary language, etc. So, coming to the concept of defamiliarization, we can say, in literature, the experience of understanding a particular object is important, while the object itself is not important. Thus, literary device gained focus. And we have another question which is being discussed in this particular essay, that is, how poetic language is different from ordinary language since it is defamiliarized. Defamiliarized means something which is not familiar to us. That's it. Then we will come up with a particular group called OPOJAS. O-P-O-J-A is it. That is started as a linguistic inquiry into literary technique under a group which was a product of Moscow Linguistic Circle. Hope you remember the Moscow Linguistic Circle. Who they were? They were Roman Jacobson, Viktor Slavosky and the Boris Tomaszewski. So, Viktor Shlovsky, the word is an acronym for Russian Literatures Society for the Study of Poetic Language, which is led again by Viktor Shlovsky, which was founded in the year 1950. So this Viktor Shlovsky, through this essay, promotes the mechanical formalism under the umbrella of Russian formalism. So this particular essay is considered as a seminal work in Russian formalism. So this essay, the author of technique, is considered as a similar work in the field of Russian formalism. In this essay, he attacks the Russian symbolism by attacking the statement of Russian symbolist Alexander Potenja, who considered art as images. So, he is attacking that particular statement that art as an object. Sorry, art as an image. Later, he attacks historical and romantic criticism. Shlavsky argues that art forms like music and architecture do not have any sort of images. Art as a technique. Art is a technique that helps us recover to recover the sensations of our life. The term defamiliarization is coined in this essay by Shlavsky. 
and the language of poetry and practical language has different functions that is being uh, made or that statement is again being proposed in this particular essay and the poetic speech is formed the speech because defamiliarization is found almost everywhere that form that form is particularly found that is considered as something he anticipates a futuristic concept of language called transcendence that is a, some some kind of a concept of language where language contains in itself a sense of unintelligibility that is what he anticipates he also categorizes nursery songs religious songs in transcendence language in this kind of work sound this important than the sense so as a conclusion part he concludes the essay by saying art is a technique even emotions in a work of art are the products of the different points of view in this sense so that is all about this essay art as a technique which is written by the famous writer viktor slavoski so hope you all got an idea of this particular essay and the concepts that is being discussed in this essay so study hard till then see you bye